Hi, I'm Louise Elizabeth and welcome to Every Bit Helps. Today I'm going to be taking you through how to use QuickTime Player to screen record and how to export to 1080p. And I hope you enjoyed this video today and if you do then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button and share if you feel that others may benefit. QuickTime Player automatically comes preloaded for free when you have a Mac. It's a really helpful tool when you want to screen record and I personally use it for all of my YouTube videos. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through screen recording now. So the first thing you should do is open up Launchpad and type in Quick and here you'll see you've got QuickTime Player so I'm just going to double click onto that. Now one thing to make you aware of today is that I am actually recording using OBS today purely for the fact that you can't screen record a screen recording, if that makes sense. So um, I'm going to so that I can show you the options I'm using OBS. Now when you click onto File, there are several things that you can do from here. So you can record new movie recordings, new audio recordings and new screen recordings. We're going to be focusing on new screen recordings, so I'm going to click onto that. Now when we're on here you can see that the volume is adjusting depending on my voice at the moment but you can use an external microphone within QuickTime Player. The way that you can select that is besides the record little red icon here you see there's a drop down. If you click onto there you can see here that I have the option to use none which will use your inbuilt microphone on your computer. Now when I first started doing videos I did actually start using that but as you can imagine the quality wasn't great. So I've since started using um, two external mics. So I have like a lapel mic. So that's really good for when I'm traveling or I'm out and about. It's obviously it's very lightweight. And I also have a Blue Yeti microphone as well, which is obviously slightly bigger and bulkier, a little bit more technical to use, but really good nonetheless. I also have the ability to change to um, show my mouse clicks, or some people don't like to show them. So obviously that is your choice completely. And if you then want to start recording, you click onto the record icon. Now there are two different ways that you can record your screen. So you can re record the entire screen or just a subsection of that, just to focus in on an area within your screen. If you just want to do that, you, what you need to do is click and you can drag the area that you'd like to record. Once you've got that area right, you can then click on to start recording. And in here we can then obviously start wiggling around our mouse and once we're ready to stop we can click onto the stop button at the top right hand corner here. So I'm going to click onto stop and my recording is then available for me. If I then want to save this recording, if I click onto the red X in the top left hand corner, it will then automatically bring me up to an export as or a save as uh, prompt here. So what I'm going to do is just call this record. And you can obviously save that to the destination that you wish. Now, if you don't want this recording, you've made an error, you can, you can obviously just straight away delete that. So if you don't want it, delete it. If you do, obviously click on save. So I'm going to click on to save. And I'll show you how to record the entire screen now. So if you go to file, new screen recording, click on the button. And then what you need to do is obviously click anywhere on the screen. Now it's worth looking at that stop button that we have in the top right hand corner again. At the moment it's grayed out. So as soon as it starts recording, you'll see that appear in white. So if you're ever not quite sure if something starts recording or not, that's where to look in that, that stop button. So I'm gonna click onto anywhere on the screen. And you'll see that, that button or that stop button is now showing in white. So that shows that I am actually recording at the moment. And then I can click on to stop to stop that recording. And obviously I can play that back again. Now one thing to be aware of is I've done a lot of YouTube videos and only recently I was aware that you can actually export these out to 1080p. So it's up to you. Some people like to record in 1080p and some people don't because you know when you're actually doing screen recordings it might be slight overkill, it does take up a lot of memory um, but it's completely up to you. So the way that you do that is if you've got your file open which we have at the moment and go to file and then export as. You have different types of resolutions available depending on what you've recorded. So you have 1080p, 720p, 480p and audio only available for this. So I'm gonna click on to 1080p. Okay, and I can export as, so I'm gonna export this and call it 1080p. And then obviously I can click on to save 
And as you're going through, it will then show the export progress and it will give you a bar and it give you an idea of how long it's estimated to actually take to save this file. So that was a very brief overview of how you can screen record and how you can export to 1080p. And I hope you enjoyed this video today. And if you do, then please give me a like. And if you'd like to see more tips, reviews and tutorials, then please head over to my website at www.everybithelps.co.uk. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.